Today's lesson is on slope from a table. So let's get started. You have your table here with four sets of coordinates, two, negative three, four, negative two, six, negative one, eight, comma, zero. And it asks you to find the slope. Remember that the slope is your change in Y over your change in X. And then we have a question, is it linear? We'll get to that in a minute. So let's figure out the change in Y. Negative three to negative two, we would add one. Negative two to negative one, we would add one again. Negative one to zero, we would add one again. For our change in our x's, you have two to four, which would add two. Four to six would add two. And six to eight, you would add two. So our change in y's is a positive one. And our change in our x's is a positive two. So therefore, our slope is one half. The question, is it linear? You could take these four sets of coordinates, plot them on a coordinate plane, and graph them and determine if they are in a straight line. Or you could look at the rate of change. When they add one in a consistent rate of change and add two in a consistent rate of change over here, that tells you that yes, it is linear. Let's go to our second example here. And again, it says determine the slope. What I want you to do right now is to pause your computer and try and determine the change in your Y values over the change in your X values and see if you can get it. Okay, now that you've tried it, let's see if you're right. To go from five to three, we subtracted two. To go from three to one, we subtracted two. To go from one to negative one, we subtracted two. Again, this is constant rate of change, so that should be an indication of whether it's linear or not, or whether it could be. And then to go from zero to three, we add three. Three to six, we add three. Six to nine, we add three again. So our slope is a negative two over positive three, and since it is a constant rate of change on the x's and the y's, yes, it is linear. Our third example says determine the slope from the table below. What is different about this table? Well, I notice that I have one missing space on the x value, one missing space on the f of x value, or the y value side. And I also notice that this says f of x. f of x talks about a function, and we will get to that when we are working with functions. So let's get started figuring out the slope here. So the change in our f of x, 2 to 6, we would add 4. 6 to 10, we would add 4. If we continue this pattern, 10 plus 4 would be 14, and 14 plus 4 would be 18. So, excuse me, that is a that is, number does work. The 10 to 7 would be subtracting 3. And then we have down here, we have a 1 and a negative 2. 1 minus 3 would be negative 2, so that's going to be our pattern. And let's see if it continues. 7 minus 3 would be 4, and 4 minus 3 would be 1. So therefore, we have our constant rate of change. Change in y plus 4, positive 4. Change in x is negative 3. Is it linear? Since it is constant, yes, it is linear. Our last example we have asks us again to determine the slope, our change in y over our change in x, and says what's different about this table. Well, we only have one missing space here, but instead of an x and a y, we have hours and miles. So I'm going to start you off, and uh, let's get started and see if you can finish it. So to go from 2 to 3, we have plus 1. To go from 3 to 4, we have plus 1. To go from 4 to 6, we have plus two, and to go from six to eight, we have plus two as well. Now, as we come over here, 60 to 90 would be plus 30. 90 to 120 would be plus 30. And I'm going to let you try to figure out if it is a constant rate of change, and I'm going to let you know it is linear. What number goes in here? So I want you to try to figure that out. And, uh, and we'll talk about this one in class tomorrow. Have a great day. Take care.